Hi, and welcome to the Web3 platform. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a schema and a top map. This is the home page for the Web3 platform, where it lists schemas and top maps. We're going to start off by creating a new schema. My schema is going to be about films. As well as giving it a label, I'm also going to provide a base identifier. This is used as the URI prefix for all the topic types in the schema. And we'll see how this works in a minute. OK, so we've got the schema created. I can now click on the link for the schema and open up the editor properly. In the middle is a canvas where we can draw the schema and on the left hand side is a palette of components. I can drag these components onto the canvas and from here I can create my topic types. Let's create film. See how the identifier gets automatically generated based on the label I give it and the prefix we defined. Let's also add another topic type. This one's going to be person. As well as the types, we also want to define property types on these different topic types. If we double click on the topic type, click on occurrences, then click new and add, we can add a description to our film type. We choose the data type, which is string, say OK, and also change the cardinality. This is to specify how many instances of this occurrence can appear on instances of the type film. On person, let's add something else. Let's add biography on here. Again, we'll make this a string property for now. Say OK, and change the cardinality again to be 1. Right, as well as the properties, we also want to create relationships. Click on the type and drag across to the other type in order to start the association template creation process. We're going to call this relationship stars in. The source role name is going to be the uh, production. And the person role is going to be the performer. Once we've got this created, we can click this run layout button to position all the items nicely in the canvas. So now, we've got our schema ready, we can save that. Click on the Web3 platform homepage, and now we can create the top map itself. Click on the new top map button, and then provide the label, and also give the new top map a web label. The web label is used as a shortcut in the URL to address this top map. We also need to choose the schema we want to uh, use as the base schema for this map. Do that and click OK. And now we've got our top map. We can click on the link to take us to the top map page itself, where it lists the types that we defined in the schema. Now we can actually enter some data, some topic map data, into the system. Let's click on Film. And in here we can now add some films. Create Star Wars. And Witness. And now if I go and uh, click on the top map link at the top, it takes me back to the top map page, I can click on the person type, and now create some people. So we create Harrison Ford. And the new topic appears on the right hand side. I can go and click on this topic to take me to the topic page. This shows the name and the type of the topic. I can now edit the topic based on the schema information I set up earlier. Here we can see its type and we also see the biography property we specified in the schema. I can add some text in here, add the occurrence, and I can also associate this topic with other topics based on the association templates we defined earlier. So we can add Star Wars, and we can add Witness as topics which are related to Harrison Ford. When we save this, the top map data is stored and it returns us to the topic page for Harrison Ford. Here we can see the links to the associations and the biography information. I can click on Star Wars for example, it takes me to the film for Star Wars. I can also go and click back on Harrison Ford, take me back to the topic page for Harrison Ford. 
In this short video we've seen how to create relationships between topics in the top map based on the schema defined. 